Welcome back to our video series on Flex and Rigid Flex. I'm Tara Dunn, and today we're going to wrap up our series and talk about emerging technology in the Flex and Rigid Flex area. We're going to specifically talk about SAP and MSAP. So the semi-additive process and the modified semi-additive process. Those are both getting a lot of buzzwords in our um, PCB industry segment lately, um, particularly since they were found to be in um, the latest iPhone teardown. So definitely something that is in high volume production and in our consumer electronics, but done in a very narrow scope. As far as um, spreading to other areas of the industry, it is definitely an emerging technology in the printed circuit board area. Now, SAP and MSAP are not terms that are new to the electronics industry. That is something that's been being done in IC substrate fabrication for a very long time. Um, it is new to the printed circuit board area. So that's why we're all anxious and trying to learn about the benefits, the processes, and why, why do we need that. So the reason that electronics is moving into that area is because our pinouts are getting much, much more complex. So it's not uncommon now to have to work into HDI designs that can require three or four different lamination cycles. That adds a lot of cost to the product um, and it can be very difficult to pin out. And on top of that, packaging is shrinking. We're trying to do increasingly sophisticated electronics in smaller and smaller packages. And in fact, that is why it was used in the iPhone originally. The electronics in there had to be shrunk so that we could have a um, better battery life for our product, which of course we are all asking for, right? Nobody wants their, their smartphone to die in a couple of hours. So that was where the need for that developed. But bringing it back to um, areas that aren't quite as developed for the manufacturing process for that and where it's emerging, let's go back and look at what that is. So as the name implies, it's an additive process to create a circuit board. And that could be in a rigid board, a flex, or a rigid flex. Um, I'm seeing applications for all three at the current time. Traditional processing is a subtractive etch process where we're etching away the copper from a printed circuit board or a flexible circuit laminate, and that's creating the traces. There's an inherent area um, with the equipment set and that process that's kind of limiting us at oftentimes three mil line in space sometimes two mil line in space, depending on the level of sophistication and technique um, at the fabricator. But there's definitely a hard limit there that we're running up against. The additive process, on the other hand, is as the name implies, adding. You're starting with a base layer of dielectric, adding copper to create the circuit pattern. That's gonna allow much finer trace in space. It's also gonna allow uh, much tighter features than the subtractive etch is allowing. So instead of a trapezoidal effect, of a subtractive etch, you're going to have nice, clean, straight up and down traces at the same time. So I mentioned semi-additive and modified semi-additive. So what is the difference between those two? Really that difference is just where the seed layer of copper is formed. On a semi-additive process, it's going to be a slightly thinner, very slightly thinner layer of copper, and that is going to be formed with a flash electroless copper process. And the modified semi-additive process that laminate is gonna start with a very, very thin layer of copper already bonded to that substrate. From there, the process is gonna be the same. Both are gonna go through the process of imaging. So we're gonna apply resist. We're gonna do a photo process or laser direct imaging process to create the circuit pattern. And from there, the circuits will be built up um, to the proper height and width with electrolytic copper. Once that process is finished, the excess resist is stripped away, and then there's a flash etch that's gonna remove um, that seed layer of copper that's left. From that point on, the circuit really follows the same circuit board processes as our standard subtractive etch processes do. A Couple areas that may be modified need to be obviously inspection. It's a much finer line within space than we're used to looking at, as well as um, things like electrical test. So it's a very exciting market, and we have some photos of some examples of circuits that have been created. Um, again, it's just a very emerging market, so there's a lot for us to learn, something new for everyone, as I like to say um, pretty often. But it's something to definitely keep on the horizon. It is in prototyping stages in North America right now. It is being rolled out through um, commercial applications as well as military aerospace. So stay tuned. We will be providing additional information for that um, possibly in the future 
blog post or maybe additional information in a video series. So just a quick recap, I wanted to talk today as we wrap up about what's new and emerging in Flex and RigidFlex, and that being the semi-additive and modified semi-additive process. Kind of walk through um, the definition of those processes, where it's being used, and um, what we see as emerging technology. So I hope you found that information useful and we'll share it with your friends. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video series on Flex and RigidFlex, and please continue to share that information with people that might be interested.